What's going on everybody? How you doing? Gypsy Danger 7 is back with the second video of the day and let's talk China. I told you. I told you. We don't need China. And here is the breaking news. Now they want to go back to the negotiating table for a better for a trade deal. You understand that? Looks like number 1 it's because these tariffs that President Trump put in place, it's working. And let's talk about number two. That happened earlier today. Earlier today, the United States and Japan had a preliminary trade deal. And it basically sums up to this. Whatever China don't want, <laughs> give it to Japan. Case closed. And as I said before in my video, uh, let's, let's talk about the economy. We don't need China. China needs us. How many times it has to be said. You see, here's the thing. America already has trading partners that we don't need China for. Look, to begin with, immediately, right now, Canada, Mexico, bam. And then you want to go further south? South America, Central America, Europe, again, Japan, Korea, India. We don't need China. We don't need China. And because, like I said, the tariffs are working. President Trump's going to sit there and tell American businesses, hey, you know, don't be doing business with China anymore. Bring your jobs back over here. J China needs that. They need those factories. Is that Because that's all they're good for is exporting. Like I said, America's self-sufficient. They don't need, they don't need China. China needs us. Oh, sure, that 1.3, what, that $1.7 trillion debt? Big whoop. That's a drop in the bucket in the American economy. They're, look, because of that preliminary trade deal with Japan, their currency took a dive to like 2008 levels. China can't afford it. As I stated in my video, let's talk about the economy. China will go into a recession far harder than we will. If it came down to it, China will be hit hard. We will be hit, no question, because of the global climate of the economy. But... Because we are self-sufficient, because we have other countries to trade with, to work with, we will recover faster than China. China will take a generation or two to get back on its feet. And as I stated before, China don't want to sit there and lose face with the world. If they want to try to cash in on America's debt, that's not going to look good for countries like the Europe or Japan or Russia or Korea or even India, South America. If China wants to do this to America, the number one economy in the world, then the rest of the world will be like, yeah, whoa, yeah, you're like a vampire and we don't want to do business with you. That's how that's going to be like. And China knows this. And now... China has, is now wanting to go back and do negotiations now. They want to go back to the negotiating table and work out a trade deal. I told you, President Trump knows what he's doing. You know, he's a master tactician. He's a businessman. And as I stated before, even as a civilian, he was stating, he was calling it back then, China's ripping us off. Now that he's president, he has the power to do something about it. And he is doing something about it. He's standing up to the economic bully that China is. China wants to be the world leader, but they can't because they don't know how to do it because America has been doing it for a long, far longer time than they have. And it doesn't help that China is a communistic country. So anyway, that's the breaking news. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, rate, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Greatly appreciated. And as always, God bless you. Jesus loves you. Holy Ghost guides you. Until the next video, take care. Later.